Most of you are confused what document suit to choose. Some of them are paid, whereas some are free. Some of them are excellent at collaboration, while others are good at cross-compatibility. In today's video, let's take a look at the major three in document processing applications, their pros and cons. Here I won't go in depth on anything, I would just provide you with information on which service is for who and which device it's most perfect for. Let's jump right in. Let's start with Microsoft 365, hands down this is the perfect choice if you are a Windows user, and pricing is also super reasonable. It starts with Microsoft 365 personal subscription starting at $599 and provides you with massive 1TB OneDrive storage. It's perfect for Windows user as OneDrive is tightly integrated with Windows OS and syncing is instant. If you are in a family where everyone prefers Microsoft, then Microsoft 365 Home is the right way to go since it provides you with six licenses with every user getting 1TB OneDrive storage. Microsoft 365 is Microsoft's subscription-based platform where you pay a monthly payment or yearly plan rather than an one-time payment you do with Office 2019. One standout benefit you get from subscription-based plan is that you are always provided with the latest Office, and every major update and feature Office gets, you will be provided instantly. Microsoft 365 also provides cloud collaboration features where you are able to share your file with others instantly by clicking on the share button and providing their email IDs. When it comes to Microsoft PowerPoint, they also provide you with premium templates which are way better than any of the other services mentioned. Also never forget that Excel is the most commonly used data manipulation platform, and it definitely gets the nod if you want the complete package. With your subscription you also get access to all the office apps which you can use on your mobile devices while away from your computer and continue the work where you left off. Microsoft also provides you online version of these softwares. Thanks to cloud integration, it offers version history where you can revert the file back to any version in the past. Also to be noted that this is the only paid service among the other two. The other two are free if you don't want its storage extended. Let's take a look at Apple iWork suit now. Let's face it, stop the video here if you are an Apple user, with lots of Apple devices. Cause this is the best choice you can get, syncing between devices are instant, and you can search for any file just by searching on the home screen on any device. Apple iWork is incompatible if you are a non-Apple user and is very gruesome if you want to access your files from other device. One huge con here is that collaboration with non-Apple user is almost impossible or extremely difficult. Among the three services offered, Apple iWork is probably the best when it comes to mobile apps, they have the most optimized mobile viewing and editing experience, and should be the choice of those who prefer to a bit work from here and there. Although when it comes to online version of these softwares, it's probably the least preferred, since accessing time of your files are very high. Since the iPad has mouse support now, it's extremely pleasant to use even on your iPad. The number of softwares in this suit are limited, compared to Microsoft 365. The experience of using iWork with your Apple products are effortless with features such as universal clipboard, import from iPhone, iPad, etc. Thanks to cloud, Apple has the best version history option, where you can get a sneak shot of all the transitions the file has gone through, and you can easily revert the file back to any version it has gone through in its lifespan. Now it comes to Google Docs, if you are someone who likes to carry light and wishes to store their files purely on cloud and also work on them there, this is the perfect choice, yes Office 365 or Microsoft 365 as they call it now, and Apple iWork provides online versions of their software, it is far less optimized for online work and can prove to be a difficult job. Google Docs probably has one of the best collaboration experience since no application has to be installed locally and literally anyone you share it can access and edit it, no matter if they are a Google Docs user or not, provided they use Gmail. Google Docs is completely free and allows you to export your files in almost in any common format. Their mobile apps are also very efficient and optimized. Their G Suite integration is also highly popular among companies. This is an ideal choice for users who wishes to save space on their machines and wants to avoid paying that premium price tags on Microsoft 365 or doesn't have an Apple device. 
Also since it's cloud based and nothing is stored locally, this is also perfect choice for people who wants to stay tension free from various viruses or attacks trying to steal documents from their system. Making this a very interesting choice among companies, since access to these services can easily easily revoked or granted to employees via admin panel. That brings us to the conclusion. Nothing among these are good or bad, all three of them are extremely efficient and feature-packed products, and all comes down to what kind of user you are and what you are looking for specifically. In summary, heavy Windows user and looking for that complete solution with all features of market for Microsoft 365. Apple user looking for seamless experience go for iWork. People who wants to protect their files from any attacks and wants to go lightweight, Google Drive is for you. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.